She was on vacation celebrating a friend's 50th birthday when all of a sudden she got a bad headache, began to feel dizzy, nauseated, and began sweating. Well, it wasn't until a week later that she got an MRI on her brain. She realized she had suffered a stroke because of an arteriovenous malformation, otherwise known as an AVM. And according to the Mayo Clinic, brain AVMs are rare, affecting less than 1% of people. And joining us now this morning are Charu Raheja, who is the founder and CEO of Continue Well, and Dr. Ricardo Hanel, who is with Baptist Stroke and Cerebrovascular Center. You guys gave me a mouthful to say there. <laughs> Thank you both for joining us this morning. Good morning. Um, Good morning. The, first of all, I, what was that like? What, the, your experience to, to, to go through that? Did you have any idea what was happening to you? So, you know, I did what a lot of people will do. I ignored it. So mm -hmm. I thought, I'm a little over 40, and when you get older, you get a headache. You mm -hmm. know, so, and, and I was, one side of my eye was hurting behind my eye, and I was a little nauseous, and I thought, oh, people talk about migraines all the time, and that's what a migraine feels like. And, that, and so I kept ignoring it until I started sweating so profusely that I had to go, be taken to my room, and, and my husband started to worry. We actually went over some guidelines. We own a company where nurses evaluate symptoms over the phone. Mm -hmm. And my husband went over the guidelines that the nurses would use. And it indicated that I needed to go to the ER. But what's funny is, it's what, and I was just talking to Dr. Hanno about it, is that I did what a lot of people do. I said, this is ridiculous. Yeah. It's just a headache. Well, no one has time to pursue what is causing a headache. I mean, we're all so very busy. But and AVMs are actually very they're complicated. When I think of an AVM, I think of like uh, spaghetti, blood vessels in spaghetti. But they're, it's very hard to know that you actually have one before you have symptoms, right? Oh, absolutely. We, we find more, more and more brain AVMs. I explain to my patients, think about a tango of blood vessels. I think spaghetti is a nice way to put uh, it creates a high flow, high pressure, more prone for bursting. And that's one of the causes of what we call burst pipe or hemorrhagic stroke in technical terms. What are some of the symptoms? So most of the time you can find in somebody that has a headache or has a sinus infection, for some reason gets a CAT scan. Uh, but most of the time we still find this out when it bursts. So, mm -hmm. and that becomes an emergency. Well, and it, it's often fatal if it bursts, so about, about, she was very lucky. She was extremely lucky because she burst an AVM, she was started on blood thinners in spite of bleeding on the brain, and with that, she still survived all that, so very strong girl. I guess quickly, what, what is the take home message though? I mean, what are, what are we to learn? Always pursue a headache if you, to find out what's causing it? So that, that's a hard thing, but I think you've gotta get medical care. Mm -hmm. I have met, other reporters who actually had similar symptoms and passed away. Well, thank you both so much for sharing your stories with us. We really appreciate it. And we're so glad that you're okay to tell your story. Thank you. Thank you, Alicia.